Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about PvP and PvP changes in Battle for Azeroth. Um, the first, there's two main points I want to touch on, then I'm going to just hit up some random thoughts afterwards. So the, fir the first change is uh, the prestige system is changing in Battle for Azeroth. It did not go that well in Legion, uh, specifically because of alts. Um, so if you didn't, it, it was very, very likely, I, I mean, I, I know 1%, 5% top, top, 1% top 5% people would disagree, but um, it was very unlikely that any of your alt characters would have any prestige whatsoever. And it made you want to only PvP on one character if you wanted to try to like be a completist and finish the prestige levels. So what they're doing is making prestige account wide, which I think is something they need to really be less resistant to do in general for everything is make everything account wide. Not everything's too strong of a word. Make more things account wide. Just speak and they have they have made a lot of things account wide, but to make as many things possible account wide because at this point most of us have played for quite a while i mean there's new players that came just in legion of course there's new players that came in warlords um but if you've played even since like mr pandaria you've played for quite a long time even if you played since the beginning of warlords you've played for a while and you probably have more than one max character or one more than one character you like to play and uh it's better to have things be account wide because of that because that's just what the player base wants the other big change is um, they're calling it a conquest point system. It, it might as well be. It's it's similar enough, I suppose. But instead of just getting conquest points, when you do things for PvP, uh, it'll probably be like your first random battleground of the day. It'll probably be very similar. Uh, your arena wins, first ten arena wins, or whatever it was. You can get conquest points, and those conquest point, and well, in this case, you're going to fill up a bar, and when that bar is filled, you'll be able to purchase a piece of loot. Um, so like the epic, you know, PvP gear of that season. And you'll be able to choose which one. When you finish a set, you can move on to a next tier of PvP gear that is slightly stronger than the last tier. Um, with this, um, one other thing should be noted: if you are in that top, if you are a top person or you know just a high end person, uh, there is ways to skip over it. So how I said you have to finish the set and then go to the next tier. I'm assuming it's going to be capped by like arena rating or uh, rated battleground rating, and you'll be able to skip over tiers and be purchasing the gear in the correct tier. Of your skill level um so that that should help people out um and not force not force the top end players to really do like this really annoying grind of gear when the certain amount of gear is available but they have to get the worst gear first which i think is really good because you shouldn't you should not punish the top end players who do choose to play the game and promote the game by doing like the esports and everything so um I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of the changes, but who knows? Uh, they make changes to PvP a lot in World of Warcraft. Um, and that's, in my opinion, because PvP has been on a downswing in World of Warcraft. Um, I don't even necessarily think it's purely World of Warcraft's fault. I don't think they do the best job at balancing things. They keep many of the same classes powerful, expansion after expansion. Um, not just powerful, but kind of like overpowered in that um, a lot of classes take a lot less skill to play or just completely eliminate or delete like certain other classes and that, while that's fine um, if that certain class is deleted doesn't delete anybody else or anything that anyone would play then it um, kind of makes that class useless and since this is a game where you can't just choose like um, I don't have every character max out and even if I did I wouldn't necessarily be good at all of them and so I don't have the option of just being like oh okay my affliction warlock is overpowered right now I'm just gonna get on him now you could say, well, just do that, but I don't think that's a very good option to, for everyone. Well, you need to level up every character to 110 and have every spec mastered and know what, what to play when it's going to be. Now, yeah, if you want to be like the best player in the world at it, then I agree. But for us more regular people who would like to PvP more, but are never like really going to be trying to be like a top end player, um, I think that's really um, disingenuous and not the best route to go personally. So, um, what what I want to see is PvP be brought back. I want to see um, I want to see me want to do it so much because it seems fun. It seems like I'm getting something out of it. I think I will like the idea of filling up the bar and getting a piece of gear with it and getting that gear progressively better um, as the patch goes on or as the uh, uh, season goes on. Or the season is probably when it'll um, switch over to the next type of gear or whatever. Um, I think that will definitely keep me more interested so I'm definitely gonna give it a chance we'll see when it gets here of course we're still months away but um, in general I'm gonna be optimistic about it until I see it or unless more things come out that make me not optimistic about it 
Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about even more changes. What do you guys think um, you should do to make PvP better in World of Warcraft? Um, other than that, everybody have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and please subscribe below. You can catch my gaming thoughts and activities on Twitter at Real Kneecap. And you can also find me playing live on Twitch at Kneecap Killa. Hopefully I'll see you soon and of course everybody have a good one.